Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage of entering your dream. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available at LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. And also, I have segregated the channel into 5 playlists which are easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question. The premium level uh, subscription questions of LeetCode as premium playlist and I combined all the 230 questions into one single playlist and ordered by the sequence number ascending. Okay, let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. It is type medium, question number 131934 confirmation rate. Let's, uh, uh, let's see the question in action in LeetCode. Okay. They have given a table called signups which is having some particular user ID and their particular timestamp of that. Okay. One more thing. Confirmation. Okay. The same particular user on some particular timestamp. Okay. Whether he confirmed or timed out. It is the action done by that. Okay. The confirmation rate of a user is the number of confirmed message divided by the total number of requests confirmation message the confirmation rate of your user that did not request any confirmation messages is zero okay round the confirmation of okay let me see write an sql query to find the confirmation rate of each okay let's take this example let's take the output also Okay, let's see this. Here you can see there are four users, particularly three, seven, two, six. Okay, three. The uh, the user with ID three has two logins in the confirmation table, which is what timeout and timeout. How many times he logged into it? Two times. How many times he confirmed it? Zero times. If you see, nothing. Similarly, seven is there. The next user. The next user, seven, seven, seven. How many times he confirmed? Three. Total number of times he logged in? Three by three. So his will be one. The next user is two. Two login two times. How many times he logged in? Two. How many times he confirmed? Only one. So this becomes 0 0.5. And what is the next user? 6. There is nothing for 6. So no user is there. We need to keep confirmation 0. That is what they did. 6, 0. Where is this? 3, 0. 7, 1. And 2, 0 0.5. So what we will do is, we will do confirmation. Uh, let's first join these two variables and let's come to this again let's first join this table we will do a left join because if you see here six is there but here the particular category of that is not there in the confirmation table if you do inner join the six will be gone we want details of six also so we'll be doing left join from signups a yeah. left to join confirmation a dot user id equal to b dot user id okay we need to give select statement
okay we have joined everything right now we got everything uh, let's keep the important things only a dot user id comma b dot action these are the most important things so let's take these two rows okay here you can see three has two rows seven has three rows two has two rows and six has only one row which is null so now how can we get this confirmation bridge three will be what it is by two by number of elements zero which is confirmation similarly for seven number of rows is three confirmed is three number of rows is two confirmed is one similarly here nothing is there so zero so here a simple trick would be let's calculate count of rows at like this if it is confirmed let's call it one if it is not confirmed let is call it zero and let's do the sum of that i will showcase you for example Okay, we got this table we need to group by this let's call it CT now from CT group by user ID I will select user id now what we need to do we need to um, do the sum of rows sum such that case when action equal to confirmed then let's call it 1 else 0 if you see here 3 has 0 7 has 3 2 has 1 and 6 has 0 okay we need to keep and as something let's call it as some ss Okay, it should be when okay we got it right 3 has 0 7 has 3 2 has 1 and 6 has 0 similarly sum of confirmation things by count of rows so we got the final answer now what we need to do return the table in any order they said okay ss should be called as confirmation rate confirmation okay it got accepted let's submit it okay they are showing some uh, answer wrong let's see it output let's see in action what is that 15 16 17 10 let's see this table they have not given anything to order by but I think they are doing ordering but in the question they are not given order by confirmation rate ascending ok let's submit it ok they try to round off to 2 digits
okay our solution has been accepted by the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this with the theoretical explanation and also code explanation just subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends or colleagues who are preparing for a data scientist or a data analyst interview thanks for watching